I'm going to present this paper that is called something like Assessment for Smart Energy Education in the Field of Computer Engineering. Okay, I will try not to tell you about the paper itself. If you want it, you can read it. Okay, so I'm, I'm here to make a delta. Okay, and maybe try to justify why. And this is the index of the presentation. So we will go into the arena of uh, health, I, sorry, um, IT and energy, and IT green or information systems green or green information systems. Then we will talk a little about uh, smart energy uh, enabled by I IT. Then we will go into the real big challenge, and we will talk a little about energy management. And finally, just a couple of minutes to tell you about the approach that we are taking to try to bridge the gap between the uh, competences, the market needs from IT, okay, and the uh, output that we are providing to the market, which are engineers. Okay, good, come on. So the arena should be something like that. We got two cycles. In the first uh, term, we got energy. On the other, we got IT. Uh, so if we go from IT to uh, energy, we'll see something like IT enabled smart energy. And if we go to the other side, we will see something like IT energy management, which is, which is not the same. Computers are beginning more and more important and we need more efficient computers. Okay? So this is another kind of focus. Good. You know everything is very important given that it's in H2020. Okay? So it's just a referral to H2020. Things we need to do to save energy. It's uh, the 2020 20 goal. So we will decrease by 20% the energy uh, consumption in Europe by year 2020. This is the 2020 20. Okay? So, uh, apart from that, uh, less carbon eco uh, technologies and more uh, uh, smart cities. Uh, you can go to the H2020 to take a look. Okay, this is important, but. Uh, yeah, we'll... Do you need some. No, never mind. Okay, I'm able. Thank you. Um, this is like that, but finally, you came to the conclusion that, okay, the, the field is very important, but there is a lack of investment in the field. And it's not my work, it's Garner's work, okay? So according to uh, Garner, uh, Garner, it was uh, April uh, this year, the level of spending, including power, software, and personal, uh, in, the year, uh, in the previous year, uh, as a percentage of the revenue, taking into account 21 industries, is something like that. We can see energy here, okay? Only 1%, good. And we got another, like for instance, software publishing and internet service in which we can find 6%. And the average is, should be somewhere, I don't know, what is the average, but should be something like four or three, okay? So we are three times less than we need to, okay? So everybody's speaking about the use of technology in, in energy, but Finally, they are not investing money, so not a good panorama. Good. So, well, okay, we got uh, many things to do, and we got a lot of things uh, inside. The first is try to build something like personalized data-driven applications. Okay, they know you. Okay, they know know your big data, your small data. Okay, this is more important for for you maybe to to know about your consumption. Why not using gamification, okay, to try to engage people, uh, making them think that it is worth to save energy, okay? Social networking, everybody is telling, okay, I'm here, okay, I'm there. 99.999% of the information is absolutely uh, useless, but the other, maybe, and maybe we can use that to know more about the uh, user and make better decisions on energy. Okay, and why not big data? Okay, it's, it's also one of the buzzwords and we need to say that. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, okay, regarding gamification, we don't have uh, the time now, but it's one of the trends that is called green gamification. So, okay, let's try to focus on system to be green, but using gamification. And uh, one of the examples is the Fiat Echo Drive. You can take a look here in, 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 in Google, they are doing this gamification to save fuel for um, uh, Fiat, okay, for a small Fiat, okay. And another uh, 
important asset is the All Power, which is a, a company that is devoted to analyze the bills of, 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 of energy consumption, okay? And try to gamify that, okay? They say, good. So, a lot of big data, okay, good. I think this is not novel for you. Okay, volume, velocity, parity, value, variability, viscosity, and also virality, uh, okay, good. So we got a lot of challenges. For instance, this is something that is going to change uh, uh, the landscape. Is the what we call the smart metering, which is like a kind of tool or device installed in every house. I think that for the, age, uh, the year 2020, 98% uh, uh, of the of the houses must have one. Okay, and with this smart metering, we will have a lot of information about energy consumption. And it's giving us a lot of information. So it's finally big data. Okay? So we can analyze. Either in a global approach using big data or a small data if we use uh, only in, in, in a small environment. I'll go really swiftly into that. So finally, it's about energy management. I will go really fast to save some time. Okay? This is good. Okay? So we can go into that also to try to save. Uh, uh, let's say plastic, cables, power, but maybe we, we shouldn't go into the first mouse, which is a uh, bull, okay? So it's more, more concerned, but maybe not going back uh, in the past. Good. There are a lot of regulations and also uh, pressures from NGOs to try to change all the panorama, and there is a Greenpeace um, report from last year in which they analyze the use of uh, carbon uh, systems or, or let's say nor dirty systems of, of production of energy by bigger uh, players in the in the in the um, in the panorama of, of uh, web services and internet and so on so for instance amazon is in this uh, dirty area while for instance google is more more here okay and apple is also here okay they say they claim <laughs> Good, but what is the real challenge? Believe it or not, Pe people. And what we are producing here in universities, believe it or not, apart from papers, apart from funding, okay? People, okay? And this is uh, more or less said in a, in a um, report uh, that was issued by Tata Consultancy Services, in which from the 10 uh, big data problems that we have, we have, we have, we have Sorry, I think three are technological, or two, no, yeah, two are technological, yeah, and the other, cultural. So, <laughs> who cares about technology, finally? Believe it or not. Good. So, if we need to produce people and we are not able to do it, uh, just take a look at the salaries and so on, okay? Maybe the, the, the thing that we should do, and I will end in one minute or something, is to try to change our approach, and this is what we did. Okay? We don't have a bachelor on IT, green, whatever, but we got a bachelor on uh, computer engineering. Okay, so why not go in, uh, to this kind of, of students and try to make them more concerned about that field is more or less important. Okay, so we got like two courses, one is industrial IT, in which we've changed from the Scala traditional systems to this kind of system. I think that there is a picture here. Okay, yeah. So there is, uh, this is like a small house, it's loud, okay? It's inside of the university, okay? And it's a small house, you won't see a thing, but okay. I will go there, I will make it work. Okay, so uh, you see that you can have here like an uh, oven, here, also something to heat the water. Uh, there is some, also a kitchen, um, wash machine and so on, okay? And everything is giving you data, everything. Because everything is connected to a smart meter which is here, you can see, but it's here, okay? And also, in this part, you cannot see, but we got some bugs, okay? Because we have, even in Norway, we have uh, solar um, production of, of, of energy, okay? So everything is connected, and with this, with a kind of um, pattern, we can see how this energy can be produced, when to heat, when to wash, when to make the oven work, when, uh, I think there is also a coffee machine here, you cannot see it. Okay, when to, to uh, turn up the, the coffee machine based on data, okay? Data we have. Good. I think you can see it better in the, in the proceedings. So finally, okay? 
Of course, uh, maybe I forgot <laughs> to plug everything up. And uh, maybe I forgot to tell you another thing, which is the approach of the, of the courses. The courses are intended to be like the first step towards a more, a bigger uh, um, approach for the, for the university uh, and, and, uh, and also a bet for the university. Is the connection, uh, is the connection with industry. Because we believe that cross fertilization with industry is the key. So we are offering, for instance, bachelor and master uh, thesis on uh, two of the companies that are on the other side of the road. And they are specialized in uh, a smart energy. Okay, so this kind of cross fertilization is maybe the key to provide them not only with education, but also with practical information and practical experience on trying to save or to solve a problem that is here to stay, which is energy. Thank you very much.